Caller, what's your name? Where are you calling from? And what do you well, got, what do you for, got the for the Rome Show? Oh, hey, fellas, it's uh, this Mark calling in. I got your number from a friend of mine named Gator who loves the loves these sports shows and everything. So I'm just calling in saying welcome to a very special episode to all the fans. How you guys doing? We're doing well, Marky. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. See, I'm doing the cold open, doing the cold open for the Not Even a Show. We're in it right now, and it's a special episode today. Got Longmont Potion Castle, who's doing some special calls, so I really want to get a banger. Basically, you guys just need to say, let's start the show, and then everyone will be singing my praises again. Sounds good. Let's start the show. Have a great day. <laughs> I, I don't know. What you want to talk? Do you want to talk, Marky? You, you got anything about the sports? I think Marky's gone. Sorry if you thought it's over. This is not even a show. I'm sorry if you thought it's over. This is. Hey everybody, and I mean it this time. It's me, MMC, aka Main Man Chris, aka Milkman Chris, delivering you another fantastic episode. We're going to put aside the litigation between me and Colonel Dufree for now because we have a very special episode for you this week. That's right. This week's episode is a collaboration with legendary prank phone caller Longmont Potion Castle. I think most of you probably know Longmont, but if you're somehow unfamiliar, please do pause now. Go over to LongmontPotionCastle.com, Google him, see what the lore is all about, and then come back. All right, now that you're back, we can get into this fantastic and very exciting episode as Longmont Potion Castle phoned Rudy Giuliani, Ed Till, Joe Messina, and Matt Connerton. First, though, I decided it would be a good idea to provide Longmont with a contact number for Alex Jones, and it turned out that he already had a contact number for one of Alex Jones's friends, and so he tried to connect them for an exciting project. Check it out. Hello. Oh, yes, Roger Stone. I've got Alex Jones on the line for you. I'm transferring you over right now. Just one second, please. Yeah, yeah, sure you do. Uh, I've got him right here for you. Sure. Hello? Yes, we've got Roger Stone. Roger here. Uh, you got Roger, Roger Stone? Yes. Hey, Roger, how you doing? Uh, this is Roger Stone. Uh, who's calling hey, how you me doing, buddy? 213? Oh, somebody just called us both, Roger. Who, who, uh, somebody just called me and said it was Roger. <laughs> this is Alex Jones. How you doing, man? Yeah, very clever. Who is it, 213? I don't I'm, know. I'm Elmer with the Home Shopping Network. We're trying to get you guys together for a new show. We're teaming up with Prince Machabelli Fragrances. We're doing a whole reboot. Love to talk to you on Tuesday morning, if you have time. <laughs> This sounds like a prank call to me, Roger. Yeah, me too. Have a great day, brother. Hey, no. Alex Jones, God bless America. Hey, Roger, I'll call you back in a couple minutes. I'll talk to you, all right? I know you're going to that Trump thing. We've also got the Gerbil Brothers. They got some kind of inflatable tunnel. It should be real, real neat. Rudy Giuliani has become a real target for us in the recent weeks, and we thought it would be fun to give Longmont the number and see how that worked out. Well, it worked out the same way you would expect it to, as Rudy was extremely confused. Check it out. This is uh, Rudy Giuliani, back on 77 WABC. 
And we'll go right to the phones because we got a lot of calls. So we'll go to, let's see, Frankie from Brooklyn. Rudy, thanks for taking my call. Oh, not at all. Thanks for calling. Yeah, I saw the recent violent videos and the oh. impunity and the bedlam. And the hockey league now is encouraging the NFL players to be boxers against the baseball players who are putting their lives on the line. And sleaze-sucking scoundrels who? and who? Woodwardian, uh, uh, Woodwardian mercenaries are celebrating Violence and who? Uh, who I don't. I don't understand what you said about the the, the hockey players are going to fight with the baseball. These players. rabid dogs who are bankrupt and pulling strings, and it's an escalation of boxing and violence. I saw a man hit with a cactus on this video. Oh, the most out of control thing I've ever seen. Well, I'm not sure I understood what he was saying. I. I I don't think there's any uh, hockey players fighting with baseball players. I think maybe what he's referring to is the baseball players, Major League Baseball, and a lot of the players, and and then basketball for sure, and to some extent football, have embraced Black Lives Matter. Ed Till banned me from the channel and has become one of our main rivals. But this week he got a call from Longmont and was really, basically, he understood that he was overmatched right off the bat. And he just sort of sat back and let it happen and tried to laugh along because he knew that he was getting dominated by a proper phone caller. Check it out. Everything's fine with Ed Till. Our first caller identifies himself as Bester from Oregon. You know, and I know, if you've been listening to the show for a while, it's probably Roy or one of Roy's cohorts. I say, well, who's Roy? Well, I don't really know how Roy found us, but he is in love with the radio station. Bester. Bester. Hi, Bester from Oregon. Welcome to the Ed Till Show. Thank you. It's Buster. Buster! Buster. He had you wrong. But you know what? He did make a mistake in a kind of an interesting way. He did make you the best of all best. All right, Buster, welcome. Thank you for calling in. Sure. Oh, you bet. You bet. Yeah. So I'm calling about Bob Woodward's book. Yes. Which I read while listening to the Watergate tapes at the same time. Oh, wow. With headphones on. Nice. And uh, I found Woodward's nearly logarithmic recrimination <laughs> to be ultimately cognitive. <laughs> close call, though. Very close call. Very close call. Very, very close call. I, I grant you that it's good that you concluded that. Very close call, though, on cognition. But anyway, yes, it's good. Yeah. I found Woodward's tonality to be nearly ecclesiastical in its <laughs> fervor for reparations to be made. Wow, you're good. <laughs> you are good. You got him. That is it. He, how does he He's find extra? Program. He finds extra syllables. This is Woodwardian. Is Woodwardian. It is Woodwardian. Yeah, it is. Now, I've been accused of being Edwardian. People have said to me, I'm Edwardian. But you're right. No, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. Answer me this. Ed, answer me this. Batman. Please. Riddle me this, Batman. Does, Here it comes. Yes. Does Woodward, does he or does he not wear the ligature mark? Of destiny. At oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow. Is it possible that Roy has been supplanted? And Roy was supplanted by an entertaining phone call. Friend of the channel and green host Matt Connor 10 was the perfect person for Longmont to call. Of course, the other hosts, they weren't going to give him much time to do his thing. But Matty C, being our friend, gave him the floor and even switched the camera to his guest to get some wonderful reactions. Check it out. We'll grab this call. First call of the first call of the week. Hi, welcome, Hi, to, welcome Matt to Matt Connerton Unleashed. Unleashed. Who's this? Uh, this is Vernon. How you doing? Hi, Vernon. Welcome to the show. Uh, this is Thank Vernon. You. Thank How you. Thank you for doing? having me on the show. I wanted to talk about this new Pew research I was looking at. 
Pew! 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 Does it smell bad? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding yes, with you, Vernon. I mean, huh? I was looking at it. <laughs> and it shows gender gaps in battleground states and all the, all the rest, but it's really these data-driven groups that are expanding into a sleeping giant that I wanted to talk about. And they have the temerity to brandish voter suppression as a weapon of malice. It just skews the margins and gives rise to advocacy groups and forts absenteeism. It goes on and on and on. I'm, uh, and every lame duck incumbent has ridden the coattails of their caucuses just as dark horse rhetoric increases the demagoguery. And, you know, what we need, Matt, is fence mending to stop this fishing expedition that so often leads to gerrymandering uh, in the Beltway. <laughs> Nothing more than a photo op for lobbyists. Oh. Another platform for pork barrel red tape. It's a fishing expedition. It's a fishing expedition. <laughs> and the upper hand is with swing voters, especially since the 2018 midterms, midterm election. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And every race, creed, and gender <laughs> can fundamentally change the election, even as the bully pulpit continues to be the overarching issue. You know, we've seen it with gerrymandering. We've seen it with filibustering. And the doggerel of the registered independents has fractured what? the electorate. The dog Some fierce. Doggerel? Something, something fierce up there. So it's a conundrum that I, that I face when I watch these videos. I, are we listening to a live person or is it's this a recording? It's a conundrum recording? That, I, that I face when I watch these videos. <laughs> I think so, too. I think so too. Oh, we feel you, Vernon. And Nancy Pelosi <laughs> was on a webcam. And she had a punching bag and everything else and a tether ball, and she was just violent. <laughs> this this woman was going buck wild. Everything else. Well, I have them on the phone. Can I extend my car warranty? Just going buck wild up there. Did you guys see that at all? <laughs> Nancy Pelosi going buck wild? I'm still stuck on, on this. On the ball, yes, sir. I'm, I'm, oh, still, I'm still stuck Weird on the uh, I'm still stuck on the sleeping giant metaphor. <laughs> and this is not a limerick, because I know you were looking for limericks. Okay, this is not a recording. <laughs> I, 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 right. No, yeah, no, no. Well, a limerick is fine. It just can't be anything naughty. Nancy Pelosi going buck wild. Oh, of course not. Of course mm. not. Yeah. That'd be wholly inappropriate. Yes. I mean, if you can tie this all into a limerick, we will be more impressed than we already are. And I'm already very impressed, Vernon, if that is your real name. Oh, born and reared. Born and reared. <laughs> Good. All thank right. you so much. Have yourself a pleasant day. All right, Vernon. Thank you. You as well. All right. Well, that that was uh, that was genuinely captivating. <laughs> captivating. He had music and. At one point, I felt like we were meditating. Yes. Uh, none of the hosts have really gotten angry yet. I think probably most of them were too confused and overmatched to even get mad. But Joe Messina managed to be stupid enough to get himself so confused that he lashed out, and that's exactly what we love to see, and you're about to see it now. Check it out. To five three five six three. Before I get to uh, General Valley, I'm just gonna take a, a Jimmy from Oregon. I'm, I'm so glad you, I'm so glad you held on, Jimmy. Appreciate, appreciate your time. Your time, time. Hi, Joe. Thanks for taking my call. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> you want to talk so about the violence? Saw, yeah, I saw the latest violence on the video on the news. Well, where do you stand on that? What vi You mean, uh, be a little more specific. You mean, do I, the, the violence against the cops, the violence against peaceful people, the violence against uh, public property? No, no. Where do you stand? Where would you stand on being featured in a video where people are getting beaten up on that? <laughs> 
If I was beating them up? If I was beating them up or if I was being beaten? Being beaten up, yeah. Uh Uh-huh, yeah. If I was being beaten, I want everybody to see it. I want everybody to see me have my, my butt kicked, if, if, especially if I'm innocent. Okay, if I'm innocent, I want as much proof as I can get. And if I'm guilty, I mean, these people need to see who's pushing who and, and who's bringing on the violence. We can get you in there and we can rough you up. Yeah, we can Jimmy, you around it. Oh, you're one of, oh, you're one of those guys. I love it, yeah. So you're one of those guys who believes that you can beat up anybody, do anything you want, anytime you want, Jimmy. My people are ready, and I think you guys totally underestimate what what um, true Americans, true not anarchists, but true Americans are willing to do to make sure that guys like you, right, don't 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 ruin what many people have died for. Jimmy, go go, please go back in your room. Tell your mom to bring you some hot chocolate. Joe Bussini, your host. Always a pleasure to have you with me now. The guy that I really want to bring on. Love having him on with me. <laughs> Retired General Paul Valley joins me as he does uh, from time to time. I always appreciate his time with me. General, sorry about that. Thanks for being with me. All right, everybody. That's the end of a very special episode. I hope you enjoyed it. What an incredible, incredible thing that we've been able to do here. And we want to give a big thanks to our producer, Zebro, who went out of his way to set this whole thing up. Obvious thanks to Longmont Potion Castle, the legend. If you want to hear some more calls from him to hosts that you know, head over to patreon.com slash not even a show because this week's bonus episode is all long. Longmont. That's right. He calls Tom Gully and the Flat Earth Society as well. So if you haven't had quite enough, go over and check that out. Also, check out everything that he does. LongmontPotionCastle.com. Support him. He's a legend. We love him and we love you. So please, let's stick together. Local politics, build it from the bottom. Everything seems a little bit overwhelming right now. We need to stick together. We need to figure out what we can do in this situation. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.